Hi guys, so I'm back. I'm now in Poland. So I'm in Poznan. It's not the capital of Poland, but it's like one of their like bigger cities. So it is Friday right now and I got here yesterday, so Thursday afternoon, but I was like knackered from the whole like morning and like early afternoon of traveling. So I just basically stayed in my room. Then this morning I had to go for breakfast. And it's now been a few hours since then. So I've been here by myself now for like a day. And I'm now actually going to go meet the people that I'm going to be spending this whole next week with. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm here with a company called Angloville. They kind of like host English summer camps for Polish children, but also children from like other nationalities and other countries. And they ask volunteers such as myself to join them at these summer camps and kind of be like the mentor or one of the English speaking tutors there we go there and we live at the summer camp and we talk to the children we speak English we get to experience this new country a new environment and in return they give us the free accommodation and free meals for that whole entire week so we're not getting paid or anything like that but we don't have to pay anything either it's just kind of the people who just want to help out experience a new place the reason why I got here a day earlier is because today we have a free city tour so from whatever city you're starting with depending on where where your summer camp is based you get a free city tour the day before you depart so tomorrow we're leaving at 9 a.m to go to the campsite which is like two or three hours of a drive away so today we're getting a free city tour and that's actually where i'm about to head like in like five minutes because i'm actually pretty late but like i just wanted to say that like until this very moment of me like sat here like ready to go i was feeling very anxious about being here and being by myself i have been like traveling on my own i'd say since i was 14 years old since I moved to boarding school I used to get really nervous when I was younger like when I first started out traveling by myself to the point where I like would tell my mom that like no you know I'm not, I'm not gonna come home because I don't want to travel by myself but when I turned like 15 I kind of like understood like okay this is how it's gonna be like I need to go home I need to go spend time with my family people who don't know me I was living in the UK and going to school in the UK but my family was in Tanzania which is where I grew up in East Africa so it wasn't just like you know like a little two-hour plane it was like connections it was like hours on the plane it was like eight nine hours you know so it wasn't like a little thing and you know since then I got really comfortable with traveling on my own in the sense of being in the plane and being in the airport but like to this day I don't like being in a new city like in the hotel doing that kind of stuff by myself I was really really anxious yesterday when I first got to the hotel and I had to like walk around and I had to get the taxi and stuff like that by myself and I got really nervous about it and to the point where I think that also had something to do with me just deciding that I was not gonna go out for the rest of the day that I was just gonna stay in my room and and that my meal deal was enough because I just didn't want to go out there by myself like it's a scary place out there scary as in like you just don't know what's gonna happen I think that's something that I deal with quite a bit and I was thinking about this a little bit yesterday and I honestly think oh I mean I don't know but it makes sense when I was growing up in Tanzania you know it's not like the safest country so there's a lot of safety measures that are put in place for your safety when you're at home or whether where you go anywhere you know you go everywhere in cars your house is protected by walls all around you have like electric security systems like on the walls you have security guards everywhere there's just a lot of security measures everywhere you go and when I came to England you just have nothing like even the schools are just like open like you anybody but he can just walk in and that's something that I didn't understand but because I've always been in school and then now I've, and then I've been at university I think I'm used to kind of be letting it be out in the open but I also think I'm a very anxious person when it comes to safety like I get really really nervous I really think that like oh anything can happen at any point which is true um, but I think it gets me down more than it has to I come and visit countries like Poland who don't you know need all these extra security measures I think that's what makes me feel a bit scared sometimes because I, I don't have that extra layer of protection to just know that I'm okay but nonetheless I'm here and I was really nervous up until this point only now when I'm like meeting people like on the chat that we have and now that I'm actually getting ready to go I'm literally gonna leave right now where I'm feeling a little bit better now the plan was to wash my hair after breakfast but I slept through my alarm and now we have gone for the slicked back 
bun. This is my outfit. It's just like some plain jeans. I was thinking about like what like day bag I could have and I was really confused as to which one to get but then I got this one because it's like the viral Uniqlo little handbag that like many people who are like on like their backpacking trips and stuff like around Asia and stuff like that have and they swear by it and I got it and I actually love it. So if you do need a bag I would really recommend that one. So before I did come to Poland I did book a hostel because I was like no I'm going to stay in a hostel. I wanted to be cheap and everything but then a few days before I had to travel I kind of did like more research into the hostel and like I saw the good reviews but then I also saw the bad reviews and then it got me nervous and at that point we didn't have this chat to meet to other people we literally just got added to the chat like an hour ago so I didn't have all these extra things to communicate with people so I was literally gonna be by myself and I just wasn't having that and some people can do it I wish I was a person that could do it I just don't think I can do it by myself I think that's a bit too much like a pressure on me it's weird because like I was really nervous to go to breakfast but then it's only scary until you do it and then when I was at breakfast I was fine but like to pick myself up to just get to the breakfast was really hard anyway to be honest I am a little bit nervous right now to go and meet these people but I think it's gonna be good so we have like a guide who speaks English who's gonna be taking us around and I guess looking at all the different landmarks that are in the area it's a walking tour so it's not like nothing too crazy I'm kind of just going with the flow I'm not thinking about it too much and then I'll see this is my view today they have like a little summer like festival there it goes like a lot more like that way as well but yeah that's all I'm gonna be really late so I'm gonna go everything we did end up going for dinner so i met up with the other people who i'm working with and like volunteering with for this next week the guy who was taking us on the tour was very knowledgeable so that was really nice for him to like be able to answer all our questions and then we went to dinner and i had this potato pancake it's a like one of the like special dishes of poland so i tried that which was good i'd give it like a 7 out of 10 and then on the way back we stopped by like the tesco of poland i think because there's literally one on like every street and every corner just to get some pringles because i like my crisps and a soap bar you know just in case for whatever reason there's no soap wherever we're going that's pretty much it of my like time like kind of alone in poland because pretty much from tomorrow morning i'm meeting up with everyone else to take the bus to where we're actually doing the camp with the kids who i think are also probably arriving like tomorrow like afternoon maybe so yeah that was pretty much it i'm not gonna lie i honestly think i was a lot more nervous before before, but I think now meeting all these people seeing that they're actually really really nice people I'm by myself tonight But I think I really needed to just like have a good night's sleep so that I can really start like up and at it tomorrow but I will say one thing that everything seems harder and scarier before you start so just thinking about what is to come is what's the worst part the actual doing of it is better than the thinking about it prior i really came here thinking like oh my gosh like i can't do this by myself like i can't do it and actually it was fine like it was perfectly fun and i think this next week is also going to be really fun i mean i hope it's really fun because the people that i met today are really cool and like most of us are from the uk but there are some like someone from australia someone from new zealand some are american so i think will be good overall and i think that's the same thing like because last year when i went to peru for a month i went by myself and now when i'm thinking back at it i'm not thinking about how scared i was in the first two days i'm thinking more about all the different things that i experienced during my one month there and i'm hoping that this is going to be the same thing like even though like i had like a nerve-wracking like first day by myself i'm really hoping that by the time that i'm back in the uk i'm not really thinking about like how scared i was but actually just thinking about how good the experience was if you're solo traveling you know this year or another year or maybe sometime in the future take my advice maybe you won't maybe you're like one of them people who are like completely extroverted and like to do those kind of things i am personally not that person which is why i can't do it i don't want to say i can't do it i'm gonna say that's why i don't do it i think i can do it if i wanted to 
but sometimes i just like the hotel room so i hope you like the video and yeah after this i'm heading to costa rica which will be crazy subscribe to follow my adventures if you want to if you care maybe you don't care and tomorrow everything begins again i'll see you in the next video